Thanks. New information tonight in the Kilpatrick corruption trial. It is now finally in the hands of the jury, but they're going to have a long weekend to think about it before deliberations begin. Seven Action News investigator Heather Tuttle has been there from the very start. And how did prosecutors rebut their uh, defense in the closing arguments here today? Well, the defense quoted John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King Jr. Today, federal prosecutors quoted a speech Eunice Kennedy gave decades ago following exposure of some public corruption in Washington, D.C. She said, quote, their message was grab what you can and run, which is what the government says Kwame Kilpatrick did to Detroit. The smoking gun in this case is cash. That was the message from Assistant U.S. Attorney Mark Chucko in his rebuttal to the closing arguments from the defense. Chucko told the jury Kwame Kilpatrick wasn't elected so he could quietly stuff a half million bucks into his bank accounts or so his friend Bobby Ferguson could cash in on $83 million in city contracts or so that Bernard Kilpatrick could become a middleman on city deals. Chucko today said Kilpatrick's reign was no splash of red. It was a tidal wave of green, funded by kickbacks and bribes. He then asked the jury to work together to hold Kilpatrick accountable, and he seemed to be imploring them to try to come to an agreement so a mistrial can be avoided. Now the agony of waiting during their deliberations begins for both sides. Yeah, How do you counsel your, your client through this waiting period? It's oh, that's very difficult. You know, he's the animated, active, aggressive, you know, strong-minded person, and it's hard to wait under those circumstances. Ferguson's lead attorney, Gerald Evelyn, says he's confident the jury will be diligent. I think it's a good cross-section of the community. I think, you know, not just racially, but in all other respects that matter. Different walks of life, different, you know, forms, different uh, uh, jobs and employment experiences. Evelyn also complimented federal prosecutors at the close of this epic five-month trial and wants the community to know there's more to his clients than the charges he's facing. Uh, he's mentored a lot of other companies that didn't come up in this trial. You know, there are people that we would have liked to have come in and testified that could have told you that. But, you know, that's not what happened. And, you know, the evidence is what, what the jury heard. So he's a good man. He's a very good man. And he's, uh, he's become a good friend for me through all this. This was a very powerful rebuttal by the government. They used a big screen in the courtroom to display the pictures of many of the witnesses and to visually show the jury they can decide which of the many allegations of corruption they can choose to apply to the racketeering count. They must all agree on at least two of those elements of either bribery or obstruction of justice or fraud to prove that RICO charge. I think showing them the visual of all the people and saying you can go through all these different elements, but you have to prove two of those beyond a reasonable doubt, and they have to agree on those two, but that visual, quite powerful. As you mentioned, it's in the hands of the jury, so now what's their schedule? Well, today the judge actually got a little bit emotional as she released for the four alternates from service, thanking all of them again for such an incredible commitment and for being so dedicated. One of those alternates was also wiping away tears, and he thanked everyone in the courtroom. Today they wanted to go have one final lunch together as a group of 16, and then the 12 jurors asked to be able to review their notes before they begin official deliberations. That will happen on Tuesday morning since the court is closed Monday for President's Day, but they've been through this for so long together. They're very bonded. They wanted to kind of have that final lunch together. They could not talk about the case in that, but right. then it starts Tuesday. All right, Heather, good job as always breaking it down for us.